everyone, me again. Welcome back to Xamedia Rex, and if you are new, hello to you too. My name is Amelia, and we film all kinds of videos on this channel, everything from beauty to fashion to travel, and we throw some lifestyle vlogs in there. So if you like my face, if you enjoy this video, click the subscribe button and stick around for a while. Today, we're gonna to be talking about pants, in particular, period pants. And we are gonna be comparing four of the biggest players in the period pants game, Thinks, Moddy Body, Walk Aware, and the cheaper brand Love Luna, which you can get from Sainsbury's. And I've been testing out styles from each one of these brands that range from £10 a pair all the way up to £30 a pair to figure out which ones you should buy. So if you're not sure what period pants actually are, they look like this. <laughs> and they are a pair of knickers that you wear on your period and you bleed straight in to the knickers. And this absorbs all of your menstrual blood and then you just change them, wash them and rewear them. They can be worn completely alone where you just sort of free bleed into the pants or they can be worn as a backup for your tampons or your menstrual cup to catch any leaks. They come in a range of different absorbances, everything from half a tampon's worth all the way up to four tampons worth of menstrual blood. And they wick away all of the blood so it doesn't smell, you don't feel wet, they're pretty amazing. They're also an incredibly eco-friendly option for your periods. It saves a load of plastic waste going into landfill. If you'd like to see a video on exactly how they work um, and the different absorbances, how to wash them, how to change them or whatever, um, then leave me a comment down below and I shall get filming that for you. But today we're going to be comparing the four different brands because um, it's really hard to know where to start with these things. They can be really expensive to set yourself up with a cycle long set of period pants. However, I personally think, having been using these for the last couple of months, um, they're a really, really good option. It's so hot in the UK right now, I feel like I'm gonna turn into a giant puddle. So let's get cracking before I melt. I will leave all of my measurements and the sizes that I bought down below. I'm a UK size 12, 14. I think my hips measure around 39 inches. I was certainly in between sizes on a few of these brands. Uh, so yeah, I'll try them on and you can see how they look and then hopefully that will help you find the right size for you. So I'm gonna start with thinks and I'm going to give you the pros and cons for each of these having worn them for the last two cycles and also washed them as well. I bought a few different styles from think. I got these super high waisted ones which are absolutely amazing. I feel like a vintage siren every time I'm wearing these. I love them and they are the heavy overnight ones I think. Yeah they're the high waisted super ones. So these pants they're massive. I know they look massive but they're massive on purpose. Um, these pants will hold up to four tampons worth. And then I also got their, um, what are these? The hip hugger ones, I think? Yeah, hip hugger in super. So these are obviously smaller than those and they're just like normal bikini pants. And these will also hold between three and four tampons worth. So you can realistically wear these for up to eight hours depending on your flow. But then I've also got some moderate ones as well, which are a little bit less. I think they hold around two tampons worth uh, and also a pair from their air range which are a little bit more breathable these are the smallest ones out of them all and they're really really comfortable so things are going to cost you around 31 pounds a pair they are the most expensive out of all of these pants and also if you live in the uk you're going to have to pay import tax which can be a little bit of a surprise <laughs> pros for things are that they are absolutely bloody gorgeous they fit really really nicely i think i've got all of these in a size medium Got them in a size medium, they fit like a dream and they just look so pretty. I actually enjoy grabbing these out of my drawer to wear when I come on my period and I love the different styles and patterns that they've got on the website across all of the different absorbances. I had absolutely no leaks when wearing Thinks, they were brilliant even overnight and I'm a wriggler at night time. Um, and I also find that the gusset, I hate the word gusset but we're gonna say it anyway, the gusset on them um, really isn't that thick. That's that's what they look like, which I don't know, like it just, just feels like a thick pair of pants. I guess I kind of expected all of these to feel like nappy thickness, like a big thick um, sanitary pad, but they just don't. They're, it's like, they're magic. <laughs> and I really do like their air range because they're just a little bit more breathable. See, you can just, you can see kind of straight through them. They're just, they're just nice to wear. And do you know what? Cause it's been so hot here. <laughs> I've actually been wearing these knickers when I've not been on my period because they're just very moisture wicking um, and they make my vagina happy. I really struggled to find cons for things because they are so, so good. Um, the only con would be that they are the most expensive pair and also the import taxes for the UK is pretty high. You can get some of these on ASOS 
um, but not the heavy absorbency I found, which is a shame. So these are like my favourite ones and they're not available on ASOS at the moment. Um, so yeah, that would be my only thing about things is the price point, I guess. Next is Wooker Wear, uh, and they look a little something like this. Uh, they are around £25 a pair. If I'm honest though, they're not my favourite. Uh, the reason why, the, well the pros for these are, it, they didn't leak. None of these pants have actually leaked. They've all done exactly what they say on the tin, so that's why I'm a big period pan. Period pant fan, <laughs> which is very hard to say with these teeth. Uh, they do actually work, it just comes down to finding some that are comfortable for you. And these for me just really aren't that comfortable. For a start, the gusset is a lot thicker. Like a lot thicker it feels a little bit crinkly um it's you can feel that it's padded it feels like there's a pad in there in comparison to the same absorbency in thinks and also in modi body and they only come in two styles which basically just both look like this the fit of them just isn't great i had to get a size large in these and they are still pretty darn tight um and when i talk about the fit on these i mean i can gain about three four pounds i would say when i'm on my period just from water weight and bloating alone so when i say that how these fit that's how they fit now but also how they fit when i'm bloated and feeling really gross on my period so these just didn't really feel nice the pants themselves fit but this waistband is really quite tight um so i would suggest sizing up on these if you want them to be really comfortable but then I'm not sure how the rest of it's gonna fit they they're just not the best they're also nowhere near as soft as think or Modi body um, with the material it's a little bit it just feels cheap it feels like a cheap pair of men's boxes that kind of material um, and I just didn't enjoy wearing them I'm afraid so although they worked and they're 25 pounds a pair so cheaper than thinks they're not for me i'm afraid and they have been relegated to my handbag as an emergency pair <laughs> next up modi body and they're going to set you back about 24 pounds for a heavy flow pair and they have got so many different styles on their website it is awesome they come in a bazillion different colors they've got like hot red hot pink turquoise purple patterned ones um high-waisted ones hip hugger ones bikini ones i'm pretty sure they've even got a swimsuit and a thong they've got so many different styles so they are by far the best for choice. Um, I got the sensual range, which I really like, in uh, black and also nude. And what you'll notice about the nude ones uh, with Muddy Body, I'm not sure if the others do it as well, but especially with these, they've got black gussets even though the pants themselves are nude so you don't have to worry about stains, which is brilliant because I was I was thinking like how is that gonna work? but that's very clever. These also vary from super light all the way over to heavy overnight, which will hold about three, four tampons worth. And I have to say that the fit is so comfortable. These I think are my favorite. They are super soft, like a mouse's ear soft. And they're really comfortable. They're stretchy, but they fit in the right places. Um, they're tight around the legs, kind of where you need them. And they're so comfortable. I slept in these. I wore them all day as backup for my cup. I wore them alone. Like Thinks, they're not too bulky in the gusset area. Even the uh, super, super thick ones, really not that big. Probably a little bit bigger than the Thinks ones, but not as big as Wooker Wear. So I'm happy with that. And I wear a medium in all of the Modi Body styles that I bought. They fit great. They also come in completely recyclable packaging and they have a whole range of menstrual boxes for trans men, which is awesome. Plus, they do a buy one, give one scheme where if you donate a pair of pants, they will also donate a pair um, to people in need who need them to help with period poverty. They're also doing a lot of work around education. These guys, really good. And last but not least, we have our budget option, which are a company called Love Luna, um, and they are sold at Sainsbury's. I think they are exclusive to Sainsbury's, I can't seem to find them anywhere else. Um, and they are £10 a pair, which, sorry, that's a bargain. However, I will say that their heavy version, their overnight version that looks a little something like this, um, you can feel that it's £10. It's really scratchy. Again, it's the same kind of material as the Walkerwear ones not a flattering fit at all. I feel like the elastic's already going and I've only washed them twice. 
Uh, they do work, there's no leaks, so these are a really good option if you just want to sort of like dip your toe in the period pant water, so to speak. That's gross. But you do get what you pay for and you can tell that these are £10 a pair in comparison to the rest. However, their moderate flow ones actually feel like they're made of a different material, quite um, see-through and light, which I really like. Again, they'll catch any leaks that you've got if you wear these alongside um, a tampon or a cup. So I wouldn't wear these on their own, but um, as a backup, they're great. And these do actually feel pretty all right for £10 a pair. Again, they feel a little bit looser having washed them a couple of times. Sizing in these, I got 12 to 14 in the moderate briefs and I got 10 to 12 in the big ones because they were the only ones in stock. They both fit, so I guess they're gonna be kind of generous, uh, but the 12 to 14 is probably a little bit more comfortable when I'm on my period and feeling a bit bloaty. So which one should you go for if you just want someone to say, right, go for these, start there. Um, personally for me, Moddy Body are the winners. Uh, I just think for the price, they're sort of mid-range out of all of these, uh, and they are just the most comfortable out of the lot of them. They're the softest. I like the different uh, styles and different colours they come in, and they are just quite easy to get hold of in the UK in all of their absorbency. But because of how expensive things are to get over here, Moddy Body are the perfect, perfect option. If you're on a really tight budget and you just want to see if you could possibly get to grips with using period pants, then the moderate flow Sainsbury's ones at £10 a pair are okay, but just be aware that they haven't washed very well and they probably won't last you that long. Uh, Moddy Body and Thinks and stuff, they've both washed really well and I can see that they're going to last a while. I think they say that they're supposed to last about two years each pair, so um, you know, it's an investment now, but worth it in the long run, I'd say. Okay, so I will leave links to everything I've shown in the information bar down below. I'll also pop all the sizes down there as well. Um, and if you'd like a video in a bit more depth on period pants, you know, how to use them, how to wash them and stuff, let me know and I'll get filming that for you because I think that could be quite useful. And if you're interested in eco-friendly period stuff or just honest chats about bodies and periods, then please click subscribe because I've got loads more content coming your way about menstrual cups, reusable sanitary pads, more on period pants, uh, my experience coming off the pill after 10 years. So yeah, make sure you click subscribe and come and follow me on Instagram. Ding, ding, ding. Chat about vaginas over there as well. <laughs> so I just think it's so important to normalize these conversations because there's nothing embarrassing about periods, about bodies, about boobs. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna keep talking about it until it becomes normal. But as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.